Do you know some best ways to treat a heart attack? Welcome to Tips for Life. Yes, a heart attack, also known as a myocardial infarction, is a serious medical emergency that occurs when the blood supply to a part of the heart is blocked, leading to damage or death of the heart muscle. And so, prompt and appropriate treatment is critical in saving lives and minimizing long-term damage. Therefore, in this video, we discuss some of the best ways to treat a heart attack, focusing on early recognition, immediate response, and advanced medical interventions. Now, if this is your first time to visit this channel, we would love you join our community by subscribing to our channel and smashing the bell icon so you don't miss any new videos uploaded on this channel. All right, so let us start our discussion. 1. Early recognition and calling for help. Yes, recognizing the signs and symptoms of a heart attack is the first crucial step in seeking proper treatment. And common symptoms include, first, chest pain or discomfort. Here, a person feels pressure, squeezing, fullness or pain in the center of the chest that lasts for more than a few minutes or comes and goes. Second, pain in other parts of the body. And here, there is a feeling of discomfort in one or both arms, the back, neck, jaw, or stomach. Third, shortness of breath. Here, a person experiences difficulty breathing, often accompanied by chest discomfort. Fourth, cold sweats, nausea, or lightheadedness. Yes, these are additional symptoms that may be experienced by some individuals. And so, if you or someone around you exhibits these symptoms, call emergency services immediately. And remember, never ignore or attempt to tough out the signs of a heart attack as time is of the essence. 2. Administering Aspirin Bear in mind that aspirin can be a life-saving intervention during a heart attack. So, if the person experiencing the heart attack is conscious and not allergic to aspirin, have them chew and swallow a regular uncoated aspirin, usually 325 mg. Research has found that aspirin helps to inhibit blood clot formation and can reduce the extent of the blockage in the coronary arteries. However, only give aspirin if instructed to do so by medical professionals or if the individual is not allergic. 3. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation or simply CPR. Yes, if the person experiencing the heart attack is unconscious and not breathing, it is essential to perform CPR immediately. This is because cardiopulmonary resuscitation helps maintain blood circulation as well as oxygenation until professional medical help arrives. And if you are not trained in CPR, emergency services operators can guide you through the process until help arrives. If you are enjoying this video, like the video, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. 4. Early defibrillation. By definition, defibrillation is the delivery of an electric shock to the heart to restore its normal rhythm in cases of cardiac arrest. Happily, automated external defibrillators are available in many public places and can be used by trained individuals or even by untrained individuals with voice instructions. 
and studies have shown that early defibrillation significantly increases the chances of survival. So, locating and using an automated external defibrillator quickly is critical. 5. Emergency Medical Care Yes, upon arrival, emergency medical personnel will continue the treatment and evaluation. Usually, they will monitor the person's vital signs, administer oxygen therapy, and start intravenous medications, if necessary. They will also perform an electrocardiogram to assess the heart's electrical activity and determine the best course of action. 6. Medications Also bear in mind that several medications are commonly used in the treatment of heart attacks, including, first, thrombolytics. Yes, these drugs help dissolve blood clots quickly to restore blood flow in the blocked arteries. Second, antiplatelet agents. Medications like clopidogrel and ticagrelor are often prescribed to prevent further clot formation. Third, beta blockers. Yes, these drugs help reduce the workload on the heart and decrease the heart's oxygen demand. And fourth, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. Studies show that angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors help lower blood pressure and protect the heart from further damage. 7. Coronary Interventions Yes, in some cases, more invasive procedures may be required to restore blood flow to the heart, such as, first, percutaneous coronary intervention. Also known as angioplasty, this procedure involves inserting a small balloon into the blocked artery and inflating it to widen the vessel. Sometimes, a stent may also be placed to keep the artery open. And second, coronary artery bypass grafting. This surgical procedure involves bypassing the blocked coronary artery by using a blood vessel graft to restore blood flow to the heart. Do you have any other ways or strategies to add to the list? If you do, let us know them in the comments section below. And in conclusion, always remember that 1. When it comes to treating a heart attack, every second counts. And so, 2. Early recognition of symptoms, calling for emergency help, and providing immediate care can significantly improve a person's chances of survival and recovery. From administering aspirin to performing cardiopulmonary resuscitation and accessing advanced medical interventions, a coordinated effort is crucial in saving lives and mitigating the long-term effects of a heart attack. And finally, 3. Being prepared and informed can make all the difference in such critical situations. Now, if you have found valuable insights in this video, show your support by giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and ringing the notification bell to get notified when we upload another video about enriching tips for life on this channel. Thank you for watching and good luck.